Here to talk more about India's potential and its problems is Andreas Badraf. He consults with companies looking to do business in India, and he's also the head of Berlin's German-Indian Roundtable, an organization that facilitates business relations between the two countries. Andreas, welcome to the show. We're so pleased you could be here. Thank you. Now, when you're advising German companies looking to get into the Indian market, what's the biggest piece of advice you give them? I think uh, we would advise them to choose their partners properly, to uh, do their homework and to allow a lot of time. A lot of time. So bring patience. A lot patience. of time. Okay. Bring patience. Now, how much of the difficulties of doing business in India are related to the culture, the lingering effects of the caste system, and how much to poverty and failing infrastructure? I think it's very, very difficult to generalize in that respect. India, of course, being 3,000 kilometers either way, north, south, east, west, is as complex and... Um, uh, manifold cultures, languages, uh, and, and uh, so it's difficult to generalize. I think uh, the standard answer would be there is always a difficulty with infrastructure, always uh, a scarcity of energy. So these are the two points which are on the technological side and the other element would be the availability of properly trained labor. Mm. Facharbeiter, as we would say in, in, in Germany. Yeah, skilled workers. That, yeah, skilled workers, uh, properly trained workers. That is uh, a real, a real uh, scarcity. Now, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is setting India on a new course. He talked about this at the Hanover Messe on the weekend. He introduced some of his ideas with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. What do you make of it? I think uh, Modi is very, very uh, pragmatic and very well advised uh, to go after that uh, training issue. And I'm informed that that was the top issue that he wanted to discuss with our chancellor, support us with respect to what in Germany would be called the dual training mm -hmm. and blend elements of the Indian side and of the uh, German systems. Mm. So I think he will actually trigger, already has triggered, a new leap, quantum leap in the Indian uh, industry uh, comparable to the one of 1991. Okay, all right. So let's talk about his Make in India campaign for a minute. Now, he's saying he wants Western companies to outsource manufacturing to India. That's something new because up until now, we've seen Western companies outsource a lot of IT to India, but manufacturing, yeah. is, is India really set up for that? Yeah, step by step, I think, and sector by sector. There will be areas where it would be too optimistic today. It will take more time. But yes, I think once the interest in Germany grows with respect to the Indian uh, potential, uh, many of these uh, projects will be realistic. Mm. We've talked a lot about the challenges of doing business in India, but obviously there's a reason that companies are so eager to get in there. What does India offer investors? Um, India, apart from the fact that they believe they are very cheap, that is debatable. <laughs> very, very often uh, one has to take a look at the total cost, not just the cost of labor. Mm. Um, then India offers long-term relationships uh, with a very high reliability. I think once the relationship is there, it is a very, very strong bond. Yeah. Now, we've talked a lot about what India can learn from Germany, namely um, some education and training. What can Germany learn from India? Yeah, this is my favorite theme when I talk to my German fellow countrymen. You can learn a lot from India. Uh, that is the way how we organize our life, how we organize industry, how we organize personal life, mm. what our Indian friends would call a holistic approach. I think that is something we can learn from them. The holistic approach. Andreas Waldraff, thank you so much for being our guest today. Thank you.